You're watching the Fighting Hounder Sports Network's coverage of Baldwin football in 2023. I'm Austin Bechtold. Throughout the season, you will hear from various seniors on the Baldwin football team about their experiences on the program, as well as new players who are new to Baldwin football looking to leave a lasting impact. So sit back and get ready. It is time for our Senior Spotlight Series. Hi everyone and welcome into our Senior Spotlight Series for the class of 2023 for the Baldwin football team that are graduating in 2024. I'm Austin Bechtel, joined alongside John Kozar to begin our Senior Spotlights for the year. Great to be with you, man. You too. So, see you. first of all, how did you start playing football and what is it like for you going into now your senior year? Uh, I started playing when I was probably uh, third grade, I think. Started at Baldwin Youth and then I played like a uh, like Catholic school league, so I've just been playing ever since. Was quarterback always one of the positions that you've played, or is that something that you've really grown into? Um, I started out playing running back, but then uh, I didn't like it, and then my coach moved me to QB in, like, fifth grade, and I've just been I've stuck with that ever since. So. Have you played other sports as well? Played basketball, and I do track, throw javelin. Well, it's been one of your favorite memories, not just in football, but also in some of those other sports you mentioned. Basketball, probably freshman year. I mean, our team wasn't really good, but we beat Jaden Davis twice, so that was pretty cool, I guess, off a game winner, so that was pretty cool. What about on the football field? Football field, my favorite memory is probably the Moon game. Um, it's probably my best game I ever played. I had, like, I think, like, four touchdowns. It was probably the most competitive game we played, too, so, yeah. So, new coaching staff uh, at the helm for Baldwin this year. What's it been like working with them early on? It's been great. I mean, he's given us a lot of opportunities, like a lot of seven on sevens and stuff. And, um, you know, he's just helping us grow as a team and he's been really good for us. You've been getting a lot of love from different outlets on Twitter, Woodfield Sportsman, just a lot of places that follow Woodfield football very closely. What's that been like for you and what's been some of the feedback in seven on sevens that you've been given? It's been pretty cool. I mean, we've never, it's like my first time, like a lot of people like talking about me. So it's been pretty cool to, you know, just have like a uh, bunch of different people reach out and uh, a bunch of coaches too. So, what is one thing from last year, your junior year, that you want to take into this year in your final season? I'd just say probably the physicality and just like overall being able to stay in the game the whole time. I think that's been huge for me ever since last year and my sophomore year. I've been able to play the whole game. So, just, uh, yeah, just continue that. Once this year comes to an end, what are your, some of your future plans and once you graduate? Uh, if I have the opportunity, I think I'm going to try to play some college football. Um, yeah, I've had some schools talk to me, so that would be like a dream. So, yeah. What are some of those teams that uh, have reached out to you so far? Waynesburg, uh, Notre Dame College, they've talked to me. And, like, just a bunch of, like, D3s, they've been telling me to, like, just check it out, so... What type of impact do you want to leave on this program once you depart it? And also just come back into the future and see what's going on in the life of Baldwin football? Just, uh, you know, obviously I think I think I'm think i like a shorter quarterback. I want people to know that you don't have to be like a super big, tall quarterback. And I mean, you can just be, you know, as long as you, I don't know, like uh, say heart over height is my thing, so... What's something that you would say to your family, some of your biggest supporters, your friends that really have been along with the journey with you? A little thank you to them. Oh, yeah. Thank my mom and my dad. They've been, you know, big parts of my, like, football career. They've made sure I've been on time to practice and everything, just everything they've done for me. I'm grateful for it. John, any final thoughts? Final thoughts is, uh, you know, this is going to be the year. I think Dana's done a good job. I think we're going to change this program around, so... This is like a brick, and uh, we're going to know one step at a time for the next, for the future classes. So, John, I appreciate your time. Thank you. John Kozar, Baldwin quarterback here in our senior spotlight series on the Budding Outer Sports Network.